Welcome to your first day of kindergarten class. We're gonna have a great year, and together, I think we're gonna put the ass back into class. <laughs> right, kids? As your teacher, it's my job to guide your growth and development, keep you safe, instill my values into you, teach you how to become a leader, and watch you go to the bathroom. And we'll go around the room and share our names and sexuality with everyone in just a moment. But first, because coming to school is all about you and your education, it's important that we make the focus of class about me. My favorite thing about me is that I'm a trans, hetero, gay, mostly non-binary, queer, tax-exempt, asexual celiac. And my pronouns are he, ha, victim. And I think it's important for you to understand that though I'm mostly non-binary, for the next 15 minutes, I will be identifying as someone who has a little bit of binariness. But that little bit of binariness that currently resides in the person identifying as myself is a completely non-binary binariness. People make the mistake of treating binariness like it's a binary concept, but it's not, and it really hurts me when they think it is. Even if you're non-binary, it's still binary of you to say that you're non-binary, and because this isn't a Trump rally, I just thought you'd want to be on the same page with me on that. I'm sorry to have to ask, but what's all that mean? It's okay. It's important that everyone clearly understands my sexuality so we know where we stand with each other. It basically means I was born in the wrong body. Um, how were you born in the wrong body? Because God makes mistakes. But luckily, as someone who makes permanent decisions about altering my body, I do not make mistakes. Now, what I want to draw you is, um, I can't find where I put my marker. I think I might have left it on my desk. Is that it in your other hand? Oh, yes it is. In a little bit, we'll do an assignment where you decide what your gender is, but first I want to draw. Um, I don't think that's how it works because when my baby sister was born, she came out and the doctor said, it's a girl. Doctors are literally just guessing genders at birth. They don't know what they're talking about. Now, because you're five, you need to understand more about me and my sexuality. Now, this is a drawing of what the coagulated clump of flesh in my crotch looks like. My partner's is the same, only more inverted. Zer's name is Atticus Moonflower Semen. Currently, Zem's trying to get me pregnant, so we're having very aggressive sex with each other, a lot. Zem, victim, teacher, Zer, I'm uncomfortable with this conversation. That's because you're transphobic, so it is very wrong of you to feel uncomfortable while I'm sexualizing you. What's a pedophile? Mostly nice people that are unfairly oppressed because they're very misunderstood. Why do you ask? Because my dad said that's what you are. Well, tell your birthing person I said thank you for the compliment. Ooh, and before I forget, here are permission slips to go on our field trip at the end of the month to Disneyland. Now, if your parents won't sign it, just let me know and I'll sign it instead because you are mine now. Now, let's do something that'll be healthy for your very impressionable young minds. We're gonna go around and decide what our genders are. Now. You might be a boy, you might be a girl, or you might be trans. Johnny, what are you? I'm a boy. No, 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 no. What are you really? Well, I I'm a boy. I have a wiener. That's got nothing to do with this, and besides, that's a very easily solvable problem. Now, are you sure you're not trans? I'm pretty sure. Sounds like you might be. I don't think I am. Well, if you're a boy, that means you're nothing but a privileged person vampirically feeding off the suffering of other people who are oppressed because of you. Which is everybody, because you want everybody to hurt, because you are mean. Is this the type of person you want to be? No. But if you just so happen to be trans, you're brave, special, and you're protected, which means no one can make fun of you or bully you. You can swim on whichever team you want, and you'll be praised by your favorite Hollywood celebrities. Now, 
Are you someone who wants to be special? Yeah. Are you trans? Well, um... It's a safe space to say yes. I guess so. Johnny just came out as trans, everyone. So brave. And you can be too. Here are some hormones, Johnny. Don't tell your parents. Oh, and here are some scissors. This is a powerful, very influential education. If you allow it, parents.